Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see what's the energy surrounding you guys today, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's get started. Mm, show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos. What's currently going on? Ooh, death here. Scorpio energy endings. Leaving behind, I feel like things, there's an ending that's happening or that has happened in your life and you are leaving behind certain people. Some, some are understanding and some are not. You yourself, you're transforming right now, present moment. You know, you're, you're transforming right now, present moment. You are leaving behind a person, place, thing, and or situation here. There are certain people along this path that may understand or may not understand. Are there certain people along this path that you're not able to take these people along with you? There are certain people here. Some of you guys, you may have certain people here that may feel some type of way because you're not taking them with you because you're not continuing to hold the load for yourself and or them. Yeah, strong Scorpio energy, the Empress. Taurus, Libra, Virgo energy. You guys are leaving behind one aspect and you're going towards with that Empress here. Some of you guys, you're leaving behind like a mother figure. Someone very, someone very loving, very nurturing, very grounded here. This is like going away to college or this is like relocating somewhere else, you know, but this is also giving me an energy for, of a divine feminine. This is a divine feminine energy coming through. You know, this talks about very, being very creative, very grounded, very loving, of course, very nurturing, of course, you know, and this is also talks about like a lot of abundance. You know, a lot of, a lot of growth, a lot of growth here. And I feel like you're leaving behind one aspect and you're going towards a more abundant aspect of your life. Yeah. Such a beautiful energy. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Show me what's going on. Page of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is you being a friend. This is you being a friend. This is you offering a helping hand to someone. This is you helping, helping who you can along this journey. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Some of you guys are receiving it. You're, you're going to be receiving an apology from someone or you've received an apology from someone. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This could even be a child that may have hurt you in some type of way, shape or form or stabbed you in your back in some type of way, shape or form here. Because the page of cups talks about an action. This is communication. This is communication that you're receiving from either a child. This could be a younger sibling. Someone that actually, this person cares, this person does care about you, but 
they've done they they've stabbed you in your back in some type of way shape or form ace of cups this person loves you the world hmm some of you guys you got somebody new here like this is the end yeah this is the end of a tough cycle nine of pentacles this is like welcoming in this is a new friendship or a new relationship for some of you guys but this is showing me the end of a tough cycle here. You've ended a tough cycle with someone or some folks. Someone or some folks. Some of you guys, this is about your family. Like you've left behind family members, friends. Because I see all these people here. Like you've left behind family members and friends here. You got a new friendship here. Or you got a friendship that with someone who actually cares about you. Or this could even be a new relationship. Show me more. What's going on with my Virgos? Seven of Swords. You see that? Leaving behind naysayers. You've, this is a final decision here. Leaving behind conflict and drama. The thing about it is you're not to be messed with. Because the way she's walking away for the Seven of Swords, she's taking Five Swords with her. There's a lot of attitude. If there's like, don't poke the bear and the bear won't bite you. Something like that. Like right now, present moment, you guys may be embodying that type of energy. Like don't poke the bear. Like nobody mess with you right now, present moment. Because while you're avoiding drama, while you're avoiding certain things, some of you guys are avoiding actually saying something that you know, like a secret almost, or something that could hurt somebody else. And it's like while you're trying to be a good sport about it and you're trying to avoid the drama and avoid the conflict, it's like an energy here of like, don't poke the bear. Yeah, it's like you guys are carrying that type of energy. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone's lost out. Someone's lost out on your, on your energy, on your time, on your love, on talking to you, communication here. Because you're, you see, you're walking away from lies, lack of trust, deception, cheating. Like you're walking away from that. This is you finally making a decision, sticking your two swords in the ground and saying, I'm done. You know, this is like, but I also walking away peacefully because with these two swords down, this is like, I, I come in peace. I leave in peace. See that you're walking away from this to continue with peace. Because again, I feel like it's either peace or don't poke the bear. That type of energy is coming through. Five of pentacles. You guys are walking away. Look at that, the star. There's people in your life, they, they really, they really effed up. You know, there's people in your life here that they have really, really and truly effed up here because the star, this is a divine energy that's coming through. You know, this is, this is telling me that you guys are, you guys pray a lot. This is telling me you guys, you do, if you do pray a lot, please put in the comments. I do. This is telling me you guys do pray a lot. And I feel like some of you guys are surrounded by some lost souls. You're surrounded by certain people that, that are in need. And I feel like you spent a lot of your time and your energy pouring into certain people that are lost that are lost here. Aquarius energy, page of swords, but you're learning. Look at that page of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. You're learning. You are, you're learning. You're learning what people are all about. Hmm. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Knight of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You guys are keeping it trucking. Keeping it moving here. Such a beautiful energy. This Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. So things are starting to get better for you slowly, but there's steady progression. There is some steady progression here. You know, Knight of Pentacles is going after your money, going after bank here. This is going after purchasing your, your new home. This is going after getting a new vehicle here. This is going after having better health. 
Like this is like some of you guys are exercising. Some of you guys you're eating better right now, present moment. Some of you guys you're working and you're saving more money right now, present moment. And you're starting to see progression. You're starting to see the benefits. You're starting to reap the rewards of it. Yeah, it's slow, but there's some steady progression here. It may be slow, but there is some steady progression here. Five of wands here. You're slowly starting to get away from people that talk about you. You're starting to distance yourself. I do. I feel like you guys are starting to kind of distance yourself from people that are naysayers or people that are starting to talk, people that talk about you. They may, you may have some gossiping friends here, some gossiping coworkers here because the five of wands talks about competition. But this is telling me you guys are slowly moving away from that. Slowly moving away from that. You've experienced, you've, you've been experiencing some challenges here with certain people. You guys have been experiencing some challenges here with certain people. I feel like you have, but I feel like you're starting to kind of put up boundaries or starting to move away from those situations. Yeah, show me, show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. Show me what's going on. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This talks about balance. This talks about balance. This, this is telling me there's some calmness. This is telling me that there's some peace here. This is also telling me that there's some gratitude. I feel like you guys, you have, there's an energy here of being great, like being excited, being happy, showing gratitude for the peace and the quiet. If this is you, put in the comments, this is me. Because this is also, this is like finding peace, finding quiet. Things are finally balancing out. Again, if this is you, put in the comments, this is me. Temperance, Sagittarius, energy, you could step, definitely have that strongly in your chart. But this also talks about divine interference here, like divine intervention here. And this is almost like giving an energy here of wishes, prayers being answered. Not more so wishes, but it's prayers, prayers being answered. I feel like that's 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 somewhat of your energy right now, present moment. Show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. Seven of Wands. Again, boundaries. Fighting them off. Some of you guys, you're having to fight off a lot of people. Some of you guys, you're having to fight off a lot of people here. You're having to defend yourself. You're having to put up boundaries. Hmm. You know, I feel like, I feel like you guys, I feel like this is, this, this overall energy is about the people that surround you, the people that you deal with. And I don't know why I get such an energy out here of wanting, like someone just kind of wanting to be left alone because it's like, it's less drama. It's less it causes you less stress and less anxiety. And this is protecting your peace. I feel like you guys right now, present moment, it's like you are protecting your peace. This is kind of protecting your peace at all cost. Even if you're having to hold your tongue, even if you're having to walk away, whether you want to, yay or nay, I feel like this is kind of coming to terms with the fact that this is like the only way of you kind of protecting your peace here. Protecting your peace, protecting your sanity here, even protecting your mental health, your health itself. I do see a healthy relationship for some of you guys. I do. You know, this could be with a child. This could be with somebody that's younger, somebody new, because I also got a new energy that comes through. Some of you guys could be actually spending a lot of time in your garden We have the six of wands talks about success and victory, winning, being seen. You know, this is like an energy of while you may do one thing, you do what you need to do for your survival. You do what you need to do to make money. You know, you may do one thing, but that doesn't mean it's almost like an energy here. It's like, it doesn't mean that we're friends. 
It doesn't mean that we can that we got to hang out after business is taken care of. Like, you know, that type of energy is coming through. Because I do feel like you guys are in, it's like you are in the business right now, present moment of protecting your peace. Like enjoying the quiet time is what I'm getting in this energy. But I also see that some of you guys, you're in the public's eye. Some of you guys, you're, there's an energy here of being seen or being front and center. So you can't avoid people. This is kind of giving me an energy of like, you can't truly avoid people. Not if you want growth. Not if you want growth here, not if you, not if you're, not if you're thinking about the future, it's like, you can't avoid situations and certain people here. Justice, Libra energy. I feel like you're, this is like you continuously, even though there is, you've experienced some heartache and some pain, some difficult moments here. I still feel like you guys, this is like purchasing. You know, this is like investing in your karma, good karma, good karma. I feel like, I feel like some of you guys are a walking karma. Like you are walking karma for certain people. Yeah. Show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. The emperor, Aries energy. This talks about bossing up, being an authority. You know, this is, this is telling me you guys, this is head of household. This is you being the breadwinner here. Some of you guys, you're having to, you're, you're having to be, even if you're a feminine energy, you're, you're in your divine masculine energy right now, present moment. This is telling me some of you guys, you're in a single parent household and you're having to be the breadwinner. You're having to be the mother and the father in this household. Some of you guys, you are my divine masculine and you're fine as hell. You know, you embody that energy. You embody that energy. But this is also being an authority figure. This is telling me you're about your business. This is telling me you're about your business. It's also telling me that you don't back down from challenges here. And this is also showing me that you keep your calm in the face of challenges. This is showing me that you do. You keep your calm in the face of challenges here. Two of cups. This is, this is a partnership. Some of you guys are entering into a business partnership with someone here. Somebody here, you could have been in the military. Some of you guys, you're, you, you've left somebody out in the cold. But this is somebody that you love. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. This person's love. This person loves you, and they're holding on to you because this person feels like you're. This person feels like you're their soulmate. They do, but I do see a partnership here. I see a relationship here. Some of you guys can have strong Aries here in your chart. I see a partnership and I see a relationship here for you guys. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on. With my Virgos. Show me. Rite of passage. I saw that when I picked up this deck. Obstacles overcome. Growth, evolution, and maturation. Obstacles are overcoming. You are overcoming certain obstacles. If you are overcoming obstacles right now, present moment, I want you guys to put in the comments, I am. This is your rite of passage here. You know, this rite of passage is, I feel like by you putting up boundaries, by you walking away from certain people, certain situations here, I feel like that's your rite of passage. I feel like that's how you're overcoming certain obstacles here. I feel like you're growing. I feel like you're experiencing growth, but I feel like you've had to, you've had to lessen friendships. You've had to lessen relationships, communication even. You know, also you've had to decline going to certain events, attending certain events, or being a part of certain groups here. And I feel like it's to maintain your peace, your peace of mind, but also to overcome certain obstacles here. Because there's a feeling here, here of it always being something with someone. 
if this is you, definitely put in the comments, this is me. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Guys, no, I do. I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.